Just want to say, forgive my irritability during this aftermath video. I got a little bit, uh, a little bit irritated about some things. Forgive me, please. I have my moments. I love you guys. Enjoy the aftermath. You guys, we're gonna do a. This is the snow aftermath. It's December 26, 2021, and it's just Bluebird Day. Just as beautiful as it gets out here. 28 degrees. You can see that. 10.30 in the morning, as soon as I'm done with this and upload this, I'm going back to bed. I probably won't respond to most comments today until I wake up. Well, obviously, when I'm asleep, I can't respond to comments. But yeah, this kind of, this traffic kind of sucks. So I'm gonna stop it for a minute until we get through it. But actually, this will show you guys what it's like right now. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna take some of the back streets for the aftermath. I really like to go through the village for the aftermath. So once we get up here a little bit further, I'll see if we have the ability to. I don't want to drive around these people even though it is two lanes. Well, I'm sure a lot of them don't realize it because you can't see the lanes. Wow. Wow. So beautiful. Unfortunately, that, that blizzard part, the heaviest snow that I've seen since I've lived here, I'm sure it snowed heavier before for all the locals that have lived here a lot longer. I'm not trying to say that it hasn't, but since I've lived here, I haven't had one video that shows uh, heavier snow than that. So it only lasted like an hour and a half, but I made sure I got up and got out at that time. Okay, since this is two lanes, no one's coming to my right, we're just gonna do this. This whole right side's empty. This second lane, but not today. For this stoplight, we'll stop this. You guys can see all the traffic right around the front of this line. What a beautiful day, guys! Look at that. You can see the moon up there a little bit. Oh, this guy to the left of us realizes this is a two left turn lane. judge must be a yeti <laughs> i don't know guarantee we only have like one judge probably if if that if that like a half a judge we have an udge oh, it's so nice not having to have my windshield wipers on but guys, this is such a beautiful day to hit the slopes, I'm telling you. Obviously, the temperature is 28 degrees, so you're, we're not going to get any snow melt because of the temperature. But due to all the blue skies and sun, the sun radiating down, we're going to get radiational heating and it will melt away some of the snow. <clears throat> this is what you guys need to expect when you come up here right now. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be nuts. Anyway, Merry Christmas to you guys. I hope you guys had a great Christmas. Mine was good because of you guys, but other than that, it sucked. And the only reason why I say that is because I didn't get to spend time with my mom and dad. Talked to my dad yesterday though, which is cool. 
Okay, so these guys are going to keep on going straight. So I think we're going to turn left at this next little street. I think it's called Park Avenue. I think. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. But it could be Park Avenue. Yeah, there's only a stop sign up here. You guys I don't know why everyone's stopping like it's a red light. Maybe because there's so much traffic. And I'm a little bit irritable right now because I didn't sleep. When I was uploading that long video last night, I fell asleep and then I woke up in a panic like, oh my God, it needs to be uploaded before people wake up. So then when we do the aftermath video, they'll get to see that too. We'll have time to see them both. But yeah, don't forget we got some more snow coming in. So you know what, we might as well call this the calm before the storm video also. So we got some more snow coming in tomorrow. I haven't checked today, but that's what it said yesterday. This is, this is going to be a freaking nightmare. Seriously, I hope every one of you had such a wonderful day yesterday. Hope you guys ate well. I hope you got to spend good time with your families. Dude, you need to pack some more meat on your on your bones, buddy. some potatoes and steak and potatoes I'm really hungry right now I want uh, egg and cheese McGriddle but I'm not gonna go wait in that line guys I'm only doing this and not like unpausing it or pausing it the whole time for this traffic because I want you guys to see what you're gonna be dealing with come on people I don't get it I just don't get it. Hospital is straight ahead. We kind of dead end at the hospital, you guys. But we're not going that far. That's one of these drivers makes me mad enough. Just kidding. I'm not. I'm not mad. I'm not gonna get mad at anybody. It's the day after Christmas. How can I be mad when I had such a wonderful Christmas with my family? The sarcasm is very heavy this morning. And then when we get down by the lake on Park Avenue, it's probably going to be nasty, but that's how we're going to cut across to get down closer to the village. The village is going to be insane right now. I'm hoping not that bad. I'm hoping all these people are wanting to go skiing. That's what I think they're doing. I think they're going to park at one of the third satellite parking lots. It's so funny. People thank you for like letting them in when you're not letting them in. <laughs> they're just pushing themselves in. But that's okay, that's what you gotta do up here. As you can imagine, everyone gets so frustrated driving up here. parking lot they're all
all trying to get to, which is this direction. So this will maybe help you guys out. Once again, I'm happy to show you guys the faster route. It does look gorgeous out here. Not as gorgeous as I'd like though. It's much more gorgeous when these trees are completely white. Completely white, you can't see any green. <clears throat> If that blizzard would have lasted a few more hours, that would have been the case. Or when we get just a good steady snowfall for a couple days and we get a few feet of snow. These trees are completely covered. It's so cool. It's so beautiful. So to get to that other parking lot, you're just going to want to make a right at this stop sign and it'll be up on your right hand side. You're not going to have to wait for any of the traffic, but we're not going to that parking lot. freaking truck it's already paid is that what it says I mean it does look beautiful though I'll tell you that with those blue skies shining down I wish I had my sunglasses with me but no turn left here it's the street McDonald's is on and it looks packed so here's Bull or not Boulder Bay Park Meadow Park and we have basketball courts here tennis courts a baseball field this is where I flew the drone for the last aftermath video but down by the lake right there I don't know if you can see the lake kind of through the end over here and people when you're driving with your your, your tire chains, you really do have to go slow. I think they, like, uh, so your chains stay on and, and less chance of braking. I think, like, the max speed is, like, 25 or 30 miles an hour. It's amazing seeing all these four-wheel drive vehicles, but then all of us Subarus, just no problem. As I said, it takes skill, too. Driving what and what I drove in last night, that'll help. I'm still having nightmares about part of that drive though. Jeez, it was nasty. So this is where I went to fly the drone for the aftermath, right where that like white van is over there. I parked right there and flew the drone. But we're not doing that today. part of the aftermath we're going to do you guys because I don't want to I don't want to be in all this traffic you guys can already see the traffic but we're going to take this street and look there's no one up here unlike the other street to the right is Denny's to the left is Dromino's it's called Dromino's because I used to work there this sucks. I don't think we're gonna. I don't know. I think I might reverse it. I don't know. Maybe not. We will cut across somehow. Make a left hand turn and take the back way into the village like I wasn't planning on. people are going the mountains the other way are you guys going home thank you dude thank you thank you very much I appreciate that man I'm giving the old hazards to say thank you here's Lenny's it's Denny's Taco Bell's line doesn't look long now I'm hungry you know what though? 
after this car passes to the left, I need to get over. We're gonna go right here. We're gonna cut in front of these guys and be golden. <clears throat> you guys did not see that. Let's see, if you guys learn these back roads like I'm trying to teach you, you're not gonna have to deal with all of that even though we just dealt with some of it on some of the back roads. That's the only thing that really sucks about snow is shoveling it and plowing it. It can really be bad for you, for your back and stuff like that. So you, so you gotta be very careful. Lifting at the knees, or no, bending at the knees makes lifting a breeze. Okay, we're on Pennsylvania now. This lady is shoveling her snow across the street. Oh wow, her car is buried. Poor thing. Remember, the further we go to this side of town, the more snow you're gonna get. My house, we only got like three inches of snow, literally. Wasn't that much. From the whole eight inches more we were supposed to get. So just assume it'll be at least a third or a quarter of what they say every time every single time so when you guys hear we're gonna get like three feet of snow then come up here to go skiing because we might get like eight inches okay now watch the, the, I knew it's gonna be so high up here you know what What are you looking at, man? That's just staring at me. Like I'm doing something wrong. I'm at a stop sign. Drive your little car. Sorry, guys. I'm just really irritated right now. But I'm really happy everybody finally got up here. But it really looks like everybody is up here. <laughs> everybody and their dogs. Just make sure you guys are safe. Make sure you're having fun. Give yourself a lot of time to get to where you need to go. No joke about that. We're gonna turn right here and go through this part of the village. Look at all these people having so much fun, man. It's so beautiful seeing all these people smiling with all the snow out here, it's great. That's what it's all about. Pure beauty. <clears throat> yeah, I gotta shut it off and start it again. Hang on. All right, that wasn't long. So a lot of that redness on my face went away, you guys. So I'm not quite as ugly anymore. Uh, I was gonna let you through. I've heard this restaurant, Teddy Bear, is really good. I've never been there before, but for one of our friends, I am gonna go there and I have to find his message again to find out what exactly his son used to order poor guy's son passed away and he had his favorite meal at, at that restaurant so I want to go honor his son and eat the same meal he had I hope that doesn't sound ridiculous at all but I don't think it is 
Alright, we're gonna stop this for another second. Alright. So now we're about to leave the village. This is one of my favorite places to stay, you guys, the Robin Hood Resort. When I used to visit Big Bear, after we sold our house in Lake Arrowhead, I'd stay here all the time. I'd probably been in every room there. And when I was moving up here, my place wasn't gonna be ready the day they said it would, so I spent an extra three nights at Robin Hood, and I've actually stayed in their two-story room, and I did a video of it for, for this channel, so you guys can check it out. I think it's their largest room available. <coughs> traffic like how look at it it goes as far as the eye can see and I know what you guys are gonna think this is a two-lane road but I know what you guys are gonna think oh thank god no way it just opened up for me it feels like a Bruce Almighty and I just opened the road up Crepe Cafe right there on the right that we just passed. I wish I would have pointed it out. Best damn crepes I've ever had, by far. And the owner's French, so she knows what, she, she knows what she's doing. I feel like if I get in the other lane, people will get mad at me, but there are two lanes. I don't want to make people mad at me. Especially when I'm already in this kind of a mood right now. Yep. Someone else is doing it, so thank God. It really is two lanes, you guys. This is the middle school, or I think, yeah, the middle school. Yep, it says Big Bear Middle School. God, what a beautiful day, you guys. Look at how blue the sky is. Just incredible. It's 30 degrees now. As I said, even though it's not above freezing, we're still gonna get a bunch of snow melt today because of the radiational heating from the sun beating down. But if it was cloudy, and this temperature, we wouldn't lose any snow today. Even though, I I don't know if UV affects the snow as much, but I know UV goes straight through clouds. At least that's what I've heard. All right. Yeah. Dude, pick a lane. Sorry guys, I, I know I shouldn't, I don't know why I'm saying I know I shouldn't be driving like this. There's two lanes and I'm driving in one of the lanes, but I know someone's gonna give me crap about it. I, I already know that, but that's okay. It's all part of it. It comes with the territory. God, it's so beautiful though. When you guys are up here though, make sure you're wearing some very good sunglasses because snow blindness is a real issue. I don't want you guys to, to have any issues. We're gonna turn here on Brownie. Look at those snowmen. Oh, that's so cute. All 
right, so one of you asked me about fighters' houses and stuff like that. As I said, this big white house is where Triple G used to train and live. One of the best boxers ever. And um, I think Mosley as well, and other famous boxers. Oscar De La Hoya lived up here for the longest time. I still think he still has, I think he still has a place up here. Um, Tony Ferguson from the UFC. His family's had a house up here for most of his life, so he comes, he comes up here and trains too. Most most fighters in California and from outside come up here to train because of the elevation. Elevation is everything. Just get out in the middle of the street. Oh, she's pissed. Dude, she is pissed. You guys see her slam that door? Damn. She is not happy. I think because she's... Oh, man, poor lady. Oh, she is pissed. You can't see her right now, but we'll see her in just, just, just a second. I hope she's okay. But she was... I don't know. I'm just going to assume, like, argument with the boyfriend or something. Or, oh, you know what? I bet this guy hit her. Hit their car. And so they'll just park in the middle of the road. <clears throat> Get out of the road. Seriously, there's nothing we can do. I could back up if this car wasn't back of me to go down the side street right there, but... Yep, they crashed. Damn it. That sucks. Dude. So you guys are just going to have to deal with this video to see what it's like. She's not happy. Poor woman, she's not happy. Really pretty. But pretty mad too. about to bump into this car and just move them out of the way. <laughs> hey, I know your hazards are on. But... Can't you guys, like, move over? What is this guy doing, man? I'm gonna push you from behind. Now we need to go forward. That's very nice of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a very nice lady right here. She's gonna push them. <laughs> Women, power, you know Women power for sure. <laughs> I 
Dude, that's awesome, man. <laughs> Oh, this lady's stuck too. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, you guys. This is not like... But this is Big Bear. This is... This is what happens. Dude, you know what? I'm pulling out in front of the next person. I don't care. We're going around. We are going around. Yeah, I'm just trying to get home. I live right next to the Best Western. This is one-way traffic coming from Moomin Ridge this way, so you have to go out to the light, make a right. And you don't have to get to Moomin Ridge. Can I go to Evergreen and you just can't turn make left? A right here either. Everything's got to go back to Big Bear Boulevard. Okay, no worries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I just told him I live here, and then he asked me if I know what the street is. I'm sure they're dealing with a lot right now. Just like I'm dealing with a lot. Sorry about my frustration, you guys. That was super cool to see those girls pushing that car. Now I feel like a total wuss for not getting out and helping, but. Man. She was really pretty, too. <laughs> That's not chauvinistic to say someone's pretty, you guys. It's really not. As a matter of fact, I could pull through this parking lot right here. Oh, I just passed the entrance. So I know they said brownies closed. I know they said brownies closed. I don't want to disobey them. I'll just stay here. But I could be home already. I just turn right right here. Go through the bank parking lot so we avoid the signs and then we come out on a free street. You see how it says roadblock, but you just turn into the parking lot of the bank and just go around it. No problem, Bob. <sighs> Merry freaking Christmas. Seriously, if you guys get up here, it's gonna take you too long to get to the resort. You're not, it's gonna be closed by the time you get there. Traffic's gonna be like this all the way to Bear. Guarantee you. Thank goodness we don't have to go that far. Not nearly that far. And I should have got food while I had the chance. That's what I should have done. That is what I should have done. But you guys are get. Oh look, there's our new auto zone right there. It's not open yet, I don't think. It is in auto zone that they finally put in. We have Napa here. I'd rather they put an in and out up here or something like that, but I learned why in and out will not do a location up here because they can't guarantee freshness. Because when we do get major snowstorms, if they can't get their trucks up here to bring the food up daily or whatever, uh, then they're just not gonna sacrifice their quality. And you know what? I appreciate that a lot. When I first moved up here, guys, you're gonna think this is crazy. I would drive down the hill three times per week to go get in and out, just to go through the drive-thru and then come right back up. And then this says Moon Ridge fuel only, no through traffic, but when there's not snow, you can go through here, no problem. Turn right here. I'm not, but never do it when it's busy because it really irritates them a lot. And we don't wanna irritate them. They're good people over there. And that's where I like to get gas a lot because it is a small little, a small little place, and uh, we like to support our locals up here as much as we can. And once again, guys, please forgive me for misbehaving this morning on the video a little bit, getting a little bit irritable and anxious and upset. It's, it's, it's not like me, so it used to be like me a lot. If you watch the first couple years of my videos. Every other word was a, was the F word. And you F and B, get out of the way. <laughs> but I was still new up here, so like I was still a tourist too. But now I've had to grow up and treat people with the respect they deserve. 
because they don't want to be stuck in all this crap either. So we saw an accident and then we got stuck behind people who couldn't get up the smallest little slope. I'm telling you guys, that's why chains, man. Bring your chains, please. That car that those three women pushed up that the most mild slope in history, they didn't have chains. So that's how difficult it can be. These main roads are not gonna be that bad because of all the traffic and all the plowing, all the tires and everything's it's warming things up on the street and melting everything. But on the side streets, you're not gonna get nearly as much help. Okay, there's a cop right there, I better go a little bit slow. the officers up here looks like officer favre from uh um god what is that movie super troopers and when i bumped into him one time at 7-eleven i was like what's up officer favre <laughs> and he was joking but he wasn't happy but he was joking about not being happy that i referred to him as officer favre but he looked just like him so look this is what i gotta deal with right here we gotta go plow right through that which is cool. Anyway, you guys, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a safe trip. The traffic is not going to be that that bad up here. So you'll be you'll be stoked. We're just going to plow right through here. Actually, we got about four inches of snow here. Four inches of snow. And here's the best Western right here. I love you guys very much. We're going to shut it off now and then I'm going to go eat. Okay, you guys, <laughs> these are the beanies. So I'm gonna post this short little video for both of the, or for a lot of my future videos. But yeah, we've got all black. These are all 100% fine merino wool. Different color patches on some of them too. Just absolutely stunning. These are stunning, you guys. As I said, we got 96 of them. Boom shakalaka. So yeah, so these are these are the colors we've got. Hope you guys enjoy them. Love you hey guys. So the first part of the aftermath video, when we were done, I decided that since traffic let up quite a bit, I'm gonna do like a, a, a longer one so you can see more, more through the town. So we're in Big Bear City and we're gonna take this all the way to Big Bear Lake. And then once we get over into that side of town, I will cut the video again. But I just want to make sure that, that you guys got a good aftermath video so you can see what the whole town's looking like. From Big Bear City to Big Bear Lake. And once again, earlier in the video, I am really sorry about being so grouchy and grumpy. I really haven't slept. It's been days. Oh, I mean, I know I got a little bit of sleep last night, but... I mean, I remember still uploading the video at six in the morning and then I woke up and saw the clock. It said 9.01 and I'm like, geez Louise. So I don't even think I went to bed till like seven or 7.30 or at least fell asleep until that point. But anyway, if traffic persists like this, we're, I'm going to show you guys the, the back roads again to get back to the Moon Ridge area. <laughs> but for those of you who are wondering the main roads don't seem that bad right now just remember at nighttime it's going to be icy it's going to be icy all the snow melt we're getting right now it's 36 degrees a lot of this snow is melting right into the street and then it's going to freeze up once we get to the, our freezing temperatures and it's going to be a nightmare so please just take that be cautious that's super cool that guy's helping that guy out that's super cool back streets guys
guys is because I really need you guys to see what it's like on these main roads because I know a lot of you will forget where to go on the back streets and I don't want you guys to get lost and then have to come back out and get stuck in traffic even more. But it all depends when we get up here to Division Road if it's looking pretty bad. That stretch between Division and Stanfield Cutoff can be pretty nasty. So. But yeah, this is essentially part two. This is a couple hours later. I just want to make sure you guys got a nice, beautiful view of the town instead of just the cars the whole time. I know it's still just the cars for the most part, but. So pretty, man. I just love how this place looks when it's all white like this. traffic on but we'll see maybe not maybe not maybe we'll get lucky we'll do our best here to keep our fingers crossed and see I know some of you all are waiting for the aftermath videos, so they, it will be coming out. It will be coming out here shortly. This is Division. I'm probably going to regret not turning left there. But we shall see. Here's the snow play, you guys. There's a bunch of people at the snow play. That's cool. Having fun sledding. I hope a bunch of you kids get to come up here and do it. It looks like they have different degrees of slope. So if you're a little bit more on the riskier side, they have the steeper ones. And then kind of like green circles, blue squares and black diamonds. But for sledding. <laughs> I always like to point out this part of town. This is my favorite part. too bad on this road so I know we made the right decision kind of I am so looking forward to even though we're getting snow tomorrow so consider this the calm before the storm too um, we have a, a lot more snow coming you guys it could triple the amount that we just got so but that's what they've said before and it hasn't panned out most times Actually, I can't remember one time it's ever hit the amount of snow that they said, ever, since I've lived here. Come close a couple times, but never hit the amount that we were told we would get. And a big reason why that sucks is because so many people end up spending a lot of money going out, renting snow plows and doing this and that, expecting so much. But, you know, it is a very difficult area to predict weather. because it is a mountain range. And the altitude is tough. This is so pretty, those clouds just hanging over that little clouds coming through where the Big Bear Dam is right now. I bet driving up Highway 18 is just socked in. But then you get up here and it's beautiful. Beautiful. And then I'm going to put the time lapse up tonight. And then I'm going to start another one tomorrow that's going to last another three or four days through this next big storm system. So I'm excited about that. They're both going to probably be 15 minutes long of time lapses, but they're days worth. And as I said, I don't have much, much different music to, to put on them. So I'll just try to like put it in different orders. <laughs> I hope it doesn't get too annoying, but eventually we will get it figured out guys 
remember my channel was not meant to be my occupation or anything like that it's a passion of mine it's just something fun I like to do and uh, and therefore that's why you don't really see any editing involved or anything like that I just do what I do once we get through this stoplight right up here we'll be good Maybe let me uh, turn this off for a second until the light turns green and then we'll go just want to get one more little look over here it's so pretty around here but once again it's really cool seeing those clouds just peeking over the mountain right there I love that I love that and they're blowing snow up at the top so that's good they're making more snow as I said even though I drove through the heaviest snow that I've ever driven through while living here last night my house only got like three and a half or four inches of snow because that part of the storm only lasted about an hour hour and a half and then it was gone it was gone quickly yeah, that's really pretty. We're gonna get some nice views of Snow Summit right around this corner. And I will pause it until that point. You guys are gonna have to remind me up here to turn left before we get to uh, Moon Ridge Way, not Moon Ridge Road, because it's gonna be blocked off because of the snow traffic. So please remind me to turn left earlier. Thanks guys. I have a feeling I'm not gonna get a reminder. <laughs> Oh man, that's really pretty though. Look at that. Look what we're coming around to right now. I wish we were stuck behind this guy in all his water. Drop the phone and turn it off real quick. It's interesting how these cameras work. That red light you see blinking on the back of that bends, it's not blinking at all. So we're gonna turn left here on a street called Catalina. Because we don't want to deal with all this.
pretty good on these side roads too, guys. But this part of town, it's, it's, it's getting a bunch of sun, a direct sunlight, so that's going to help a ton. Just be very careful. All right, so this is going to be the end of the video, you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you all had a merry Christmas and peace out to you all. Actually, we'll be almost done. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a little bit more I want to show you guys. This is uh, Starvation Flats next to the Windham. The old mark by Windham. Looks beautiful in there. Look at all this fresh, beautiful snow. It looks really pretty. I thought you guys might enjoy that. In the meantime, I will talk to you guys later. Merry Christmas, and I hope you enjoy the video.